Hi there and welcome back. Another walkthrough video on Bifrost. This time we'll have a look on how to create this air gel render. It sums up a few of the techniques we covered so far. So I started with this initial cylindrical shape. Then I am converting the mesh to a volume and back to a mesh. Selecting the mesh and updating the normals. Right here I am displacing the geo with the noise. Using the same setup as in, in the donut video, I am creating a mask based on a voxel field with this initial cylinder. And the noise gets multiplied with the voxel field mask. At the end, displacing the geometry, in this case only in the Y axis. Now for the bubbles. Converting the previous mesh to a volume and scattering a sphere inside the volume, that's why we converted the mesh to a volume in the first place. Ok, let's now focus on the bits of gel accumulated on the side of the container. So this is the initial shape following the contour of the container. Using a mesh to volume so we can do some booleans scattering some points and adding random scale. Converting the points to a volume and then merging the volumes, in this case I am using the difference mode to subtract the points from the cylindrical shape. The same workflow as in the procedural cheese video. I also have another merge volumes, in this case merging the previous one with a slightly scaled down initial shape. As you can see I am using again the difference mode. And this is the result we get, just a shell of the first volume. After converting the volume into a mesh, I am displacing the mesh with a fractal, again only in the Y axis. And we get this distorted look, mimicking the effect of the accumulated gel on the sides, when someone scoops it with the fingers. At the end, connect all the shapes to the output and we have everything combined. Ok, the next step is to convert the Bifrost graph to a Maya mesh, as covered in past videos. Then I created the container geo with some thickness, so it renders correctly. I also shrink wrapped a price tag and added two area lights along with some image based lighting. Now the shading part, which is quite simple. The bubbles material, which is a bubbles preset with a bit of roughness in the specular and dielectric priority set to 2. The gel material has the same as the priority set to 1 and some blue color in the transmission with some depth to get the gel color with the right amount. Now the container material with full transmission and priority set to 3 as is the outer shape. I also added a smudges texture to the specular roughness. The lead material has the same roughness map along with a slight bump. And the price tag which has a base color texture and also two normal maps layered to add some detail. The label just has a basic texture created in Photoshop. And this is the rendered image. I was happy with the result, but also made a few mistakes, like not applying the noises in the volumes, because when we apply after converting it to a mesh, you get a few issues with the geometry. But again, you can't really trust me, because I started learning by frost two, two weeks ago. Anyhow, I hope you have learned something with this setup. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for being there and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.